Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good day, whatever point it is amidst your travels that this video catches you. I hope this video finds y'all well. Just wanted to take a quick second to kind of explain to you what goes on at Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage with our daily tiered posts, our strength and durability dedications as it were. So without getting too complex, we have four tiers or four strata for our members at Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage. The first tier speaks to mastering body weight. So when you see the fun six displayed, the six exercises that we're speaking to specifically are pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats, and kettlebell swings. On any given day, the demand of the workout will change. But that's essentially what the workout is when you come in. It's all about body weight mastery. The next level, tier two, is high intensity interval training or um, the durability dedications are more akin to a CrossFit style workout. Essentially what it means is training athletically. CrossFit has now become a popular trendy way to say training smart, training intelligently, and training athletically. That's not to say that all CrossFit coaches across the board apply intelligence to their programming. However, that's a diatribe for a latter video. These specific workouts look to cover several planes of motion that are based on the holistic teachings of a gentleman by the name of Paul Cech from Southern California. For those of you not familiar with his work, Paul Cech basically espouses that in any given moment throughout daily life, we're engaged in one of eight different types of movement. Those movements being pushing, pulling, extension through the spine, flexion through the spine, rotation around the spine, squatting, or lunging. The eighth and final movement is part and parcel, one of the same thing. It's two components, first being breathing, inspiration, expiration, and bracing. And more importantly, as it pertains to our practices, as exercise enthusiasts, how to both breathe and brace throughout movement. And that's what tier two helps you to develop, is awareness, or in this instance, kinesthetic awareness, around all several of these facets of your athletic self. The other thing that our tier two um, strata helps to develop is the foundational conditioning, hence durability, for latter stages, tier three, tier four. That being said, this is a perfect segue to explain tier three. Tier three is more of your conventional Western bodybuilding style of training. Tier three is looking at partnering different muscle groups, whether it's antagonist muscle groups and we're looking at doing a push-pull routine with chest and back, for example, or quads and hamstrings, or we're looking at separating the body into two separate halves, doing an upper lower body split. What predicates how the program is administered for tier three level athletes is the frequency with which they train. So you get an athlete that has to train a minimum of three times per week, but can train a maximum of six times per week or seven, it's completely at their discretion. We will administer the program based on their training frequency. Because of the foundation that we lay in tier two, we can now use giant sets or monster sets to keep our metabolic engine revved at all times. So we can burn more calories by staying in constant movement with our tier three workouts. So what this means is we're gonna be able to string a set of three to four exercises together because of the foundation of conditioning that we've laid through our tier two level programming. Tier three now acts as a segue to tier four, which is conjugate based training or the conjugate method based training. Simply put in place, every day of the week has an associative characteristic with it. So on our Monday and our Saturday lifts, we're doing maximal effort training. On our Wednesday and our Friday lifts, we're doing dynamic effort training. And Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday are our conditioning days or durability training days. So on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday respectively, we will regress down to either the tier two durability workout for that week, or I will create specific individualized homework that our tier four athletes will have to do during their durability dedication on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays specifically. 
our main lifts, be it squat, deadlift, or bench press variation, will cycle through in three-week evolutions. So now, when you look at the posts on Instagram and you follow along with Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage, hopefully you'll have a greater comprehension of what it is exactly that you're looking at. Again, Tier 1 is body weight, Tier 2 is high intensity interval training, laying a foundation for the latter stages of programming, and in that Tier 2, we're looking at covering movement around push, pull, flexion, extension, rotation of the trunk, lunging, squatting, breathing, and bracing. Tier 3, again, is traditional style bodybuilding split, upper body, lower body, chest, back, arm, shoulders, quads, hamstrings, legs and shoulders, uh, buys and tries, however you want to do that split, that's what Tier 3 is. And finally, Tier 4 is, again, based in our conjugate method, looking at each individual day of the week, having an associated characteristic to it along the speed strength, strength speed continuum. So again, Monday and Saturday are our max effort days, Wednesday and Friday are our dynamic effort days, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday are our durability days. Again, I hope that you find this video informative. I hope now when you look at our Instagram feed and follow us on Instagram at Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage, you comprehend what it is exactly that you're looking at. Stay tuned to our Facebook page here, uh, Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage, for training videos that actually will break down the workout of the day and teach you the technique that we're using. Because we may label an exercise one way here at Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage, but you may understand it under a different name and know actually how to perform the workout or that specific exercise rather for the day. And you may actually want to start doing the workouts. It's completely at your discretion. Regardless, of what's going on, this will become a hub for free workouts and free content. Hope you guys enjoy. Looking forward to your feedback. Please drop comments down below. Again, I encourage you to share this video. Please jump on our Instagram feed, follow us up there. Give us likes, bump the shares. Let's get social with this ish. Thanks for your time. Hope you're having a great start to your new year. See you on the flip side. Deuces up.